G'day, I'm Australian artist Rod Marsh. I'm here to present something quite uniquely Australian, and uh, it's actually the Lone Run car transformed into the Ned Kelly car. Saddest part in the life journey, I dare say, is I've got to let go of her. So I've got to find an owner that wants to take my vehicle, hopefully to a museum. I'm going to talk to you about the reasons why I feel it should be going to a museum, or definitely a collector. She's got a lot of history, this car, and there's something very unique Australian. So, aesthetically, she's quite rusty, but even so different, that it actually established a tour around Australia. And this photo you're actually seeing now on this banner was where I was actually uniting charity with the car and myself as an artist to paint artworks and give 100% of the money raised to a person in need. Now the child here and the family down the bottom here is the Guardia family, little Dylan. Now he was one of my favourite children. He did have leukaemia and for myself it opened up ways to see in a different way how I can help people for a talent that I didn't really understand myself. But now back to the car. The car was actually designed to represent the past of Australia, our morals, where we stood strong as one and would tend to help more than just ourselves. Okay. So aesthetically she's quite rusty. Now is it paint? It's a special effect. Okay, so don't worry about the car rusting away. It is a very a solid car and it has lasted quite a few years now. In 204, the first journey around Australia was quite fantastic. Alright. Now what we have here is a bit of Australia's past. We have the Eureka Stockade flag. So proudly we all stood as one and in the Eureka mining era we definitely did that. Uh, some people's life come to the end. We uh, as Australian can tend to be quite rebellious. So I'm proud to be an Australian and I'm definitely proud to have this on my, on my car. It's painted to the point of a flag with not much left because in Ballarat at the gallery there's only shown the flag with not much left because it's so old the history is going back quite a few years. The simulated bullet hole, bullet hole to the front, well this one is actually real. This is where I shot it and put a plate of metal, lead and ceramic to catch the bullet. The rest are mimicked because on my second attempt the bullet passed through and missed the plate. So, But great to do as an artist. The main thing here is to try to keep it very to the period of time. So if it's, if it's going to be shot like Ned Kelly was shot at and the Rick and Stockade Rebellion, then I want to do it to the car. All right. The vehicle is quite unique. We have Ned Kelly on the side and also down the back we have Such as Life. All right. One of Ned Kelly's sayings and one that we, um, we tend to show proud. All right. Ned Kelly at his period of time was done wrong by certain aspects. All right, as most Australians do see. Now, the steam engine era was part of Ned Kelly's life too. When he tried to derail a train, there was a gunfight that brought him to his capture. So, we have the steam engine, the two pistols, and Ned Kelly sculpture to the side. Now, in the aesthetic design of this car, I've also lengthened from his vision. The whole point of, if I'm inside and I had to sleep in this vehicle going around this drag, then I also wanted myself to look outside the vehicle. All right, so it's quite uniquely that way different. The Rika Stockade flag come into play when I drove into Ballarat, Victoria and they actually give me the chance to paint the five abstracts for the 150th anniversary. Awesome, proudly done by myself and um, I suppose in a way my life journey uh, I couldn't accept much more than to have that honour to do that. So she has the Rika Stockade flag on the roof and it's just you know all Australians we stand proud with that as well. So step inside we'll show you some past um, iconic little features that I have and people say why have you got a tap in the dashboard well it's actually stuck there to say aesthetically so it's like turn back a tap in time and aesthetically look at the way things are placed and then you might see the reason why they are placed now going right back we used to have horse and cart so one of those shows show the shotgun all right in this case I've had to take the trigger out uh, a policeman got quite upset with that and it was best that I re uh, removed it all right you have also the Ned Kelly key, and it also comes across the lone horseman and the key into the Ace of Hearts. All right, money on the dashboard, all the pound notes and pennies of the past. Now, Mum used to say, and Nan used to say, at the end of the day, Rob, when we go on camp, he got any, any everything bar a kitchen sink. So there's actually a plug mounted in the center here to mention the old moments of the sayings. Uh, Australian sayings and the rabbit trap is sort of like my rabbit trap security system so it makes a few people laugh when they look inside it brings back a bit of heart now on the aspects of this vehicle I suppose if you're going to be an investor and you can actually see what could happen for you it's just postcards alone were making enough income for me to survive around when I went on my tour around Australia to help more than just Dylan okay so that would allow the trip to survive and then I could create more for the investor what they actually sees 
is you can actually make posters, prints and designs. And with this car, I'm looking at giving you a limited edition print signed by myself, probably a five thousand dollars for the world stage. Sorry, five thousand prints for the world stage would allow you to also make money and keep the journey of this vehicle alive. So that would help. I do wish to, for her to get to a museum. That would be a very good thing for the car to have that life, an extension to the journey. Now, what we have over here is a past of the journey, and possibly the reason. Now, I can show you for why I am selling it as an artist. Okay. The reason this vehicle is being sold, now I wouldn't normally chop my right arm off, but she's my right arm. She's, um, you know, every guy has their own favourite car and she's definitely mine. But the reason I'm selling is because I've got an Amazon voice project and I'm being invited into Brazil as an Australian artist to represent my country. So I'm stoked for that. Now what we have behind here is a little bit of its past and its history. So all the media releases, you know, some people that are in parts of the roles. And it talks about journeys of hope and helping others to the point that it can actually show the real Australian way and who we are as a people and a nation. All right. And on this backboard here, you also have the police pulling me over. One of the best parts about the police pulling me over at the time, the car was very roadworthy, and the main part was for myself was actually fantastic because it allowed me to look at or feel more closer to Ned Kelly as you would say as that I was trying to focus on his life to create new artworks and photograph into Glen Rowan and whatnot and follow his life story. So what we have also is I'll just show you inside the vehicle. On the journey of the lone run, it's something I haven't discussed yet, she actually got a five litre V8 and a turbo 700. Now this V8 has come out of an ex-interceptor, so it's an ex-police car engine, and then it's also made, made it a lot more stronger in the bottom end, as you probably heard when she pulled up. Now, the Lone Run Mark II, you can probably just see it right here. So Lone Run Mark II. This motor was actually put into the car as a new heart for the first journey, because the first journey when she went around Australia, she went around with a V6. Now the thing is, I wanted to give her a new heart, just sort of like rewarding my car for such a good job she did. And we put a new heart in for another journey called the Mark II. Now sadly she didn't make a round on a Mark II because on my marking we lost Steve Irwin and I was still self-funding it myself to show people that we can do this. So I decided to focus on a project into Brazil instead. But what you see here now is, I'll just go back to the car, we've got two bullet holes here that are simulated coming across to the Southern Cross, so pointer stars. The paint pot on the back is representing my life as an artist. And we'll get to the motor in a minute for you. And then also in the back you have the corrugated iron finish. As you look through on the top of the roof you also have the decoupage of 1930s right back to the 1820s and all this sort of stuff. It's what I'm trying to do is show Australia's past more than ever. And Boomerang of course, um, we've got to show that we're all one in Australia's nation and I love to show our cultural, exchange, like cultural uh, exchanges, uh, the people that we, we work together as a nation. So we have the gold mining history of China and whatnot also on the roof. Okay, so it's coming through and around. I'm just gonna pop the hood for you. We'll just come around the front here and have a look here. Um, all right, I'll pop the hood for you and give you a quick look under the hood. And that's the whole way of opening a bonnet, right? <laughs> Something quite unique to the car itself. So I'll just open the bottom for you here. And straight in the middle, what we have here is a beautiful Holden V8. Now this is an ex interceptor motor. Okay, she's definitely got the go. She was actually built to go around Australia one more time and she hasn't made it sadly. But the better part is I've been invited around the world to do another project. And that's the reason I'm letting her go. So thank you. I don't know if I...